Hey guys, what's up? Jake here, here back to my review. Is it really that bad? We're gonna be finally looking at Night of the Demons, because Freddy and Jason were invited, but didn't come, and sadly I have to. <laughs> September 9th, 1988. This is very, very much like Evil Dead, with some similar shots and similar concept, but it has much more cheesier acting and it's kind of bad, but it's good. And it also has a lot of new. Every girl is really sinister skin. But it has some great gore, and mostly because I'm pretty positive MPA mostly fucked off to this movie. So, it's actually really good though. So, let's look at Night of the Demons and see why it's become a cult classic. So, our movie begins with a cool-ass animated sequence that is pretty awesome opening. I mean, really, they must put so much effort. This is awesome. This is a great opening animation. I really like it. Most horror movies don't have animations like this, so it's pretty damn cool. So, our movie begins with some teens. There's some dumbass kids, and this old man hates kids. And Sal here scares the shit out of him, making him drop all this shit. And then Judy tries to help him, but he's an old creep, putting razor blades in apples so she doesn't help. Well, does this go anywhere? Yes, it does, but you'll have to wait till the end, sorry. So Judy goes home with some bad acting, and picks up the phone, and it's Jay. Oh, oh not me. This J spelled with J A Y. Mine's just the letter J. And this guy is kind of a dick. And I'm much better looking than he is. Trust me. She takes her pants off, showing her ass, which every girl in this movie got to say some sins. And they decide to go to Andrew's party at Hall House. So then her bro thinks she got bodacious boobies. Yes, she does, but she does have bad acting. Two. That's a compliment, and three, you're her fucking brother! Don't tell her if she has big boobs! So then Sal shares the shit out of him, asking for Judy, and he gets a dollar telling him where she's going. Mistake! I mean, you're a dick, but you're a like likable dick, just like all the rest of these characters in this movie. When we meet up with the night, Quigley and Angela, who are shoplifting, she gives us an iconic line. You guys have sour balls? Why, well, sure we do. Too bad, I bet you don't get many blowjobs. God damn, it's sad when she turned you down. I mean, she's a slut in this movie. I mean, really, that's just sad. But, you know what? I gotta tr get some girl to try this. Go into the convenience store and ask the guy sour balls. Since that'd actually be really damn funny. And Jay picks up Judy, and this is the last time we'll ever see her, bro. And she's dressed as owls. Then we meet up with Stooge, who is a lovable asshole. No, really, most of these characters are likable, but they're dicks. So, I kind of want to see him die, but I kind of don't. I'm so confused. So then Judy and Jay pick up the doctors, and they got a flat tire. They got a spare, but no tire and iron. Plan ahead, buddy. So they get a hand, so the pig got to walk, and they learn about the house. They all died on Halloween night, and an underground stream keeps the demons in. And they're gonna hide in the coffin, but somebody's already in there. It's a prank, bro. It's Halloween. So now, everyone is there to party. The only sad thing is Freddy and Jace didn't come. And again, sadly, I had to. Freddy and Jason are pussies. Get to watch a nice ass, and Angela tells Judy not to forget her later, so she takes it with her. That'll be important later. So they all start dancing with a freaking lots of fun, but then the batteries die, so they, they have time for party games with past life seance. And Raj finds a mirror, but the seance goes pretty damn wrong. Oh no! It's an attack of the Muppets! I knew this would happen! No! Oh, shit! Jeez! I have a really nice 
nice shot with the broken glass, and then they directly rip off Evil Dead with the POV of the demon, and it possesses her. Yeah, now this movie can really start being awesome. But Angela explains demon to them, and now Raj and the girl want to leave, so she gives them the keys for the car, and they're about to leave because they're smart. And then they go for some fucking... Plus, she's in the mood for Pig, going to the bathroom with Stooge and making out with Angela. Alright, because of that, this movie is definitely getting a 4. Maybe a 5, if it's lucky. So now Angela's possessed. And they go upstairs to hear a story, and they find the bathroom, and she goes in first, of course. Because ladies first, and Stooge isn't very gentlemanly, so he didn't let her in there, her in there by choice. He wanted to fuck her. So then we hear that story about the area never being safe and about cannibalism, but the doctors have to leave. So we go back outside with Raj, but the gate is gone. And they can't find... So then the girl is gone. Oh, she's dead. You just rarely ever see her. I think you see her body like once and maybe her walking around once. That's about it. So he hides in the car. Then they make out, but she won't fuck him. So he's pissed and he accidentally locks her in the room. Yeah, you'll be in there a while. So when they're beside the bathroom, she's changed into a demon, but when Stu gets in, she's gone with a broken mirror. But then we see Angela starts dancing really damn good. Amelia Kincaid is a dancer, and a really good one at that. The music starts up, and so does the lights, and they have cuts making it look like she's teleporting. Just because of that scene, this movie's definitely getting a five. Sorry about ruining my rating already, but five? So then Stooge gets back to party, but then it's time for him to die. Oh, I liked him, even though he was kind of an asshole. Well, at least he got a cool death, even though he died first, and unless you count the demons. So then he finds the lights on, her fixing up her face, but then he goes to leave. She puts lipstick in her nipples. I would show this, but I don't want to get flagged, so look it up. I'm not showing that shit. So then Jay goes into fucker, and he goes to split, but he can't leave. Oh, here you are. I was just warming my hands in the fire. Sorry, buddy. Told you you shouldn't have come. Roger's woken up by this going on his windshield. I told you you'd see her again, just, you know, you'd only see her one more time, and she looks pretty much like shit, because she's not as good looking as the other demons. So they start to fuck, but it gets a little bit weird. Ah! Honey, you got real ugly. Jesus Christ! Stop looking at me! Wow, good gore effects in 88 horror movie. I mean, the late 80s don't have much gore, but this is one of the few movies that NBA fucked off. Thank you. This movie is good because of that. So, hey, thanks. So we see some coffin fucking, but Stooge is there to kill. Well, I really don't care. You're just part of the body count, and you also tell stories about the plot, so should I care? So Rod sees what Angela really looks like in her demon form, and he runs into Sal, and Stu tries to get into the locker room with Judy's in, so Sal gets the door open while Angela chases them, and they go into this room. Hey, how about an orgy? I'm sure if we try, we can get Jay hard again. Well, no, because there's two dudes there, so... No. Plus, if there was all chicks, I'd want them to be alive. So, she throws Sal out the window and Judy runs. Run, Judy, run! See, Judy, run! <laughs> yeah, let's see her run from this hell. So she runs into a hand of the dead doctors, but Sal's okay because, you know, he's okay. And then she climbs up the water pipes and Judy runs into her, scaring her ass. And she runs into Angela, but Sal is there to save the day. Ah! 
I hope he's alive. I actually liked him. Oh, don't tell me you're leaving. Sal wanted to go, but he decided to stick around. <laughs> Fuck, I actually wanted him to live. Oh well. So Raj catches her and they gotta run like hell into a room they lock themselves into. And they explain why demons are there because it's Halloween. On that day, they're able to walk to Earth. Makes sense, but what the hell happens to their souls after this is all done? So they get sad to stick there until dawn, but they're coming in, so she gotta use that pipe and use the lighter so that she decides to keep. She I told you this was important. She burns the stepmen with the pipe, but she can't turn it off, so Raj decides to finally help to turn off, but they start getting locked in. Her blind day is here for her. You like your blind dead. No, because he's kind of a dick. And I like people with the name J, just spelled with the letter J. They're cooler. So all the shitty looking demons are there too, with Angela and the good looking demons. They don't look as cool as the others. They they really don't. I kind of wish they'd put a much higher budget on the shittier looking demons, but oh well, they still look pretty good, I guess. Since Raj is a black guy in a horror movie, he jumps out the window and somehow survives. Wow, this feels weird. I'm not used to the black guy being the one that lives. So they decide to go up to Barb Ryer to climb up the wall. Raj gets up pretty fast, but Judy is having trouble, especially when she gets second degree burns. And everyone is pulling on her. And Raj falls down, tries to ignore her, but he can't. So he goes to save her and pull her over and finish the night. And survive. Meaning that the night is finally over and all the demons are dead. For now. So they finally get home with them looking like shit with their clothes all torn up and the old guy just yells at them. I told you this would come back to bite you in the ass, but I had to do something with all those leftover apples. Oh, Jesus Christ, I think that just hurt me. I, I told you this would come back to bite you in the ass, but I didn't think it would hurt that damn much. Ugh. Happy Halloween, dear. Actually, it's not Halloween anymore. It's the day after Halloween. And you're going to jail now, because you did murder him even though he was trying to murder kids, but still you murdered him technically. So that was Night of the Demons, and I can see why it's a cult classic, because it's awesome! When horror was going stale, this movie is very good and feels very 80s. And MPAA pretty much fucked off compared to other movies, and it's very gory compared to them, and it's pretty good. I, I mean, I guess it was quick, cut down a little bit because of that, but it wasn't that horribly cut down. The characters are fun, and some of them are pretty bad in the act at times, and kind of dicks, but... That's this movie's charm. I love this movie. I love this movie every minute of it. So I give Night of the Demons a 5 out of 5. So next week is Halloween. And that means it's also the 40th anniversary for Halloween. So we gotta look at its 20th anniversary's 20th anniversary since I already looked at the original. I'll see you then. Honey, you got real ugly.